So according to Fabrizio Romano, Arsenal interested in two Balevacuzan players. And in this video, we'll talk about one of them, Victor Boniface. Arsenal are on the quest to sign a new striker in 2024. And that could be Victor Boniface, the Nigerian at Balevacuzan. In this video, we're going to be diving into what is Victor Boniface all about? Is there real interest? How much is it going to cost? And exactly how good is this guy? Now, we are linked with a couple of other strikers. Dusan Blahovic, Victor Rossiman, Ivan Tony, and all these other really special talents but Victor Boniface seems to be one of those players that Edu and Mikel Arteta are keeping very close you know close tabs on in the comment box below I want your thoughts I want your opinions what do you think about Arsenal going for Victor you know Victor Boniface he's such a young striker only 23 and he's absolutely cruising in the German Bundesliga. He scored 10 goals in 16 appearances in the Bundesliga. But this season, just to give you a perspective of how good he has actually been, he has scored 16 goals in 22 games in all competitions for Balevacuzen. Should Arsenal move for this guy? 40 million euros is the market price. He might actually cost a little bit higher than that, but he might not be in the range of Osimhen, Ivan Tony in terms of pricing. So he might be cheaper and may be available than more available than Osman and more available than Ivan Tony come this summer. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel as well. The conversations about the transfer window are absolutely ramping up every single day. You don't want to miss them. And if you don't want to miss them, the only way you can actually achieve that is by subscribing to this beautiful and wonderful channel right let's dive into it victor you know victor boniface i really confuse him with victor victor uh Osimen. both of them are nigerian strikers the difference uh boniface is playing at baliva cousin and Osimen is playing in um you know in uh, at napoli both of them come from nigeria obviously um you've got to have the confusion but boniface is the younger player and he's having a phenomenal season and a phenomenal campaign in the german bundesliga this is his first campaign uh, after joining Baliba Cousin. He's coming from uh, the uh, the Belgium Super League, where he's got a couple of goals as well. We're going to be diving into his statistics, and you will love them. You will actually love them. My problem with him is he has been on the big European scene in one of Europe's you know big five, five leagues for only one season. And therefore, Arsenal are risking taking a player that is not actually proven he's good. There is talent, but it's actually not really um, proven. That is my problem with that, you know, Victor Boniface. So to run into the story, um, it was, you know, it was reported by Fabrizio Romano that Arsenal interested um, in two Balevacuzan players, one of them being, um, you know, Jeremy Frimpong, the right back, who is actually scoring a couple of goals as well and assisting. And of course, Fabrizio says that Arsenal, Bayern, a couple of other clubs as well are really keeping their eyes very, very widely open uh, on that situation. Release clause around 40 million euros for Jeremy Freepong. So come this summer, Arsenal might pounce on that signing. But at the moment, he also says that Arsenal are keeping very close tabs on Victor you know, Boniface. They're looking at him as one of the few strikers in the world that might cost a little bit um, reasonable price, right? It, it, they might actually, uh, you, you know, cost a little, a, a little bit of a reasonable price. And also, he's one of the strikers that actually uh, are real quality on the market at the moment. Of course, there is no scarcity when it comes to strikers, but when you want those strikers that have the ability to score for you 20 plus goals, 25 plus goals, that is where the problem is. So, Victor Rossiman and uh, Ivan Tony have been identified as two of those available strikers that can score for you 25 plus. But then there is this second tier of the, the likes of Victor Boniface, of the likes of um, uh, Jonathan David, strikers that have not actually earned themselves a name by scoring 30 plus in a campaign or 20 plus in a campaign, but they are on the trajectory and they are on the road to get there. So, Arsenal really interested. It's a deal that Arsenal think would be very difficult to do. And it's a deal that Balibar Cousin wouldn't even entertain for us to do um, in January. They're having the, the, the season of their life. They're actually, you know, cruising on top of the German Bundesliga table. And losing any of their players would mean sacrificing the Bundesliga title. I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think Balibar Cousin are actually going to sell uh, any of their key men. You know, key men. They have so many players there. Uh, Grimaldo, they have um, Frimponga, like I said. Uh, you have, you know, uh, you, you have Victor Boniface. You have the likes of, you know, Florian Vats. But they are likely to sell in the summer than to sell in January. And that is the, the whole story around this deal. 
Arsenal want to look at Victor Boniface. If they cannot sign him in January, then they will wait until the summer and try to explore a deal. So why is he on market? Why is he one of the players that um, everyone is talking about in the German Bundesliga uh, and the whole of Europe? He is actually scoring real goals. Now, uh, this season he's played 22 games, like I said, in all competitions, scoring 16 goals. Uh, but most importantly, he has actually played 16 games in the German Bundesliga and he has scored 10 goals for them. That means that he's only failed to score in, a, in, in six appearances in the German Bundesliga. Overall, he has scored 16 goals and assisted eight times for Balevacuzen this season. So that is how good he is, and that is how, um, you know, flying he's actually been. Now, the big question when it comes to Victor Boniface, yes, he's actually done it, but for how long has he done it? And he's the, is he the quality-tested striker that Arsenal should be signing? And that's where the problem is. So he's come, he's come from uh, the Belgian Super League and he's had a very, very tremendous, uh, you know, seasons there, scoring 17 goals and 16 uh, goals in his last two previous campaigns. He's come into the German Bundesliga and he's actually started from where he stopped in Belgium. He has scored already 16. So it shows that he's a consistent player. It shows that he's a consistent performer. But again, that doesn't answer the question, are we getting in a Victor Osimhen? Are we getting in an Ivan Tony? Are we getting Rovandowski levels? Are we getting Karim Benzema levels? Because if Arsenal want to compete with uh, Man City, Liverpool, and all these other you know sides that are trying to win the title, you've got to go with the top talent. You've got to go uh, for the top quality, top talent. Is Victor Boniface there yet, right? He's scoring the goals, and as a striker, that is all you're going to ask for, right? You're going to ask him for goals. But is he experienced? Is he the kind of guy that has done it for three years in the German Bundesliga and therefore Arsenal could feel safe to bring him at the side? I really don't think so. And again, um, I don't think Arsenal should be really concerned about that because you look at the signings that we've made uh, in the past under Mikel Arteta. Ben White, one season at Brighton. Um, of course, he did have a very good season in the championship as well. But then Arsenal signed him after one season in the Premier League. Uh, you look at the likes of Martin Odegaard. He was not actually uh, really convincing. Uh, in, his, in, in his time at Real Madrid, he did go out on a couple of loan spells, um, did moderately well, but Arsenal decided to sign him. And the likes of, of, of course, the likes of Alexander Zichenko, he has always been a second-tier player um, at Manchester City, and then Arsenal decided to sign him. So the lack of experience might not hinder Mikel Arteta and Edu from signing him, but I personally would prefer a player who's actually done it for some time. And that is why I think Ivan Tony and Victor Osimhen are still very quality options. Because Osimhen has done it at Napoli for a long time. Um, Ivan Tony at Brentford as well. From the championship in the first season, in the second season. And now this should be the third season uh, running that Ivan Tony will be scoring goals at Brentford. That gives me more confidence and that actually fills me with um, this is the right signing vibes than a guy who has just come into, bust onto the scene and then you eventually pay a lot of money. So how much would he cost and um, what is his market value? His market value is 40 million euros and he might actually cost a little bit more than that because the striker market of course is um uh, in demand strikers are, are, are really in demand at the moment but also listen to this his contract runs down in 2028 why of course it, it, you know he did come in in 2023 signed a five-year deal that takes him to 2028 now for you to sign a player that you know has such a long-term contract there are two things one, you're either going to trigger a release clause, which I'm not aware of when it comes to Victor Boniface, or you're actually going to pay over the yards. You're going to pay uh, a lot of money. Now, I think Balevacuzan will be trying to sell. They will, they will sell. They have a lot of talent, and this is the time for them to sell. They have Tar in defense, Tap Soba, um, I, I think, you know, Florian Vats as well, Victor Boniface. I mean, they could get some cash. You know, they will be um, bracing themselves for some cash, but a player whose contract runs down in 2028, if they don't want to sell, Arsenal might have to break the bank in order to get him out of there. And still, I don't think Victor Bodinfest is in the rush 
to leave Bayer Leverkusen. He's just arrived there. He's just settling in. This is his first season uh, under Xabi Alonso. And things are just going to get better. And he knows that. So he, he might actually decide, how about I stay at Bayer Leverkusen for maybe a year or two. And then I can decide on my future while I'm even, you know, a little bit older and grown up as a striker at 25. But of course, that is what Arsenal have to pay at the moment, 40 million euros. Um, we don't know the real price, but that's the market value. And his contract running down in 2028. It means Arsenal would have to pay over the odds at the moment. Okay, so is a deal doable in January? That's a very, very good question uh, before we get into what kind of striker he is and whether he's better than all the other options. I think it's a no-brainer, right? It's a no-brainer. Right now, Arsenal are trying to chase uh, the top boys in, um, in the Premier League. Imagine someone came in at the moment and asked for the signature of Bukayo Saka. I, I always believe, and I've always believed that every player has a price tag and every player has a fee where that club will sell. So if someone brought in 300 million uh, for Bukai Saka, I won't be surprised if Arsenal decide to listen. I won't be surprised if Arsenal sell. But can we sell in January? I don't think we are. Unless Balevacuzen are not really as ambitious, I don't think they sell B Victor Boniface in January. They, they would be disrupting Jabi Alonso's team, and they will also be disrupting the cohesion and, uh, you know, th the togetherness that um, the team has at the moment. So I would still say that um, at the moment, I don't see it as a deal that could happen, right? If it was nailed on, 40 million euros, Arsenal just go to the bank and pull out 40 million euros or sell one player and raise 40 million euros and we sign Victor Boniface, yeah, that could have been actually a very good deal. But at the moment... We don't have that cash. Arsenal have FFP issues uh, that much we know. Um, we might need to sell to buy. We might actually have to work with um, the loan market at the moment. Big deals might have to come in in the summer. So the January transfer window is very, very complicated for us to try to sign a player like Victor Boniface. However, he would be one uh, for the summer. He would be a very good one uh, for the summer. As everyone looks to sign these expensive strikers, everyone thinks... Arsenal signing Osimhen. Everyone thinks Arsenal signing Ivan Tony. Everyone thinks Arsenal signing uh, Martin Zubimendi. We could surprise the whole market by making our first signing um, in, in uh, probably June or even May and bringing in Victor you know, Boniface. That could be a massive transfer story. Because one, you're bringing in a striker who doesn't have a lot of news. You're bringing in a striker that no one really um, is focusing on. I I've not seen a lot of competition. Uh, you know, either way, Chelsea, Newcastle are all looking at the striker force. But I'm not look I I've not seen Chelsea really interested in Victor Boniface uh, or Newcastle really interested in Victor Boniface. So that shows you that either clubs are still studying him or they're not yet convinced about his profile, about his talent, and what uh, and what kind of player he actually is. So it's, it's a good deal for the summer. We will have the money. We'll have the ability to sell some players in order to bring in uh, a new striker and a new uh, midfielder as well. So keep your eyes open to Victor Boniface and this deal. So what kind of player is he? And... Uh, who is Victor Boniface? I'm, I'm bringing this last because uh, the, the interesting part about the deal um, came, bef you know, came earlier in the video. Now he is a 23-year-old Nigerian striker, absolutely electric, and he is one of the strikers that are going to take Europe by storm in the next two or three years. So he's actually done what what you know Victor Osimhen has done. Uh, in the German Bundesliga and the Italian Serie A. He's come in from nowhere and he started banging in goals right, left, and center. His key attributes, quick, physical, tall, and can score every type of goal. I think that is what Arsenal are missing and that is what Arsenal do not have. A striker who believes in himself and a striker who believes, I can score every type of goal. I have to score every type of goal. That is what we do not have. In one of his recent uh, interviews, Gabriel Jesus literally said, I love to play football, but I'm not really obsessed about scoring goals. This is the same guy who had just come into Arsenal and he said, I think I love to score goals. I think I want to be a number nine. I think I don't want to be a right winger. I'm being confused. I want to be a number nine. Two, one year later, fast forward, he says, 
I'm not really, I'm not really enthusiastic about scoring goals. I'm more enthusiastic about you know playing football generally and helping the team. And I think that's actually very nice. That's something very good. Uh, that is something Arsenal are really benefiting from. It's like you know sitting for your final year exam and then you write a, a correct answer and you cross it out. That is like that is what you know Jesus literally did. But we have benefited from his work up top. We have benefited from um, you know his work rate, his ability to chase down defenders, his ability to drop into midfield. Those are things that Arsenal are really benefiting from. But again, there is a question. As a striker, are we getting enough from you? Are we getting enough from Gabriel Jesus? I don't think we are. And Victor Boniface, that is where he could be an answer. He is goal-minded, he wants to score, and he loves scoring goals. And we have seen it at Bolivar Cousin, he really does score goals. So if Arsenal bring him in, maybe we could be swapping one good striker that is good at leading the line to for another good striker that is really good at leading the line and scoring goals, right? So if we bring him in, do we drop Gabriel Jesus? For me, obviously, because I look at the attributes. At 23, you can turn him into a pressing monster like Gabriel Jesus. And at, of course, at 23, you can turn him into any you know profile of striker that you want to turn him into i want your thoughts there guys in the comment box below what do you think about victor boniface coming to arsenal january or even in the summer it's a story out there we had to talk about it and we just did